session two, two, two. Um, we're going to build off the first one. All the weeks, we're going to do the same sort of thing. Still, day one drill. It's going to get progressed into sort of the day two drill. Cool. Primer for today. Uh, there's a wall press hold. I'll be done a video of that after this. Wall press hold um, is basically the end of a inch one. Put your hands on the wall. Okay. All we're trying to think about through that position is keep everything really tight and hold the shape. So yeah, feet together, squeeze your quads, squeeze your bum, squeeze your belly, squeeze your hands over your head, so you're in that sort of hollow shape rather than pressing into the wall and having this weird sort of like bend in your back going on. Cool. So we're just gonna try and set up that tight hold and that sort of full body tension we're gonna use uh, for the single leg holds we're gonna do for today. So uh, the skill is gonna be a single leg handstand hold. Okay, you're gonna do the same sort of style of kick up you used in the first session. It's that really slow kick. One foot is gonna touch the wall and stay there this time. And then we're gonna wait. You're just gonna leave that back leg hanging out for five, 10 seconds, and then come back down again. Cool, so it's not gonna be a both legs get to the wall for today. So you kick, you hold a hands down, one leg touching the wall, that got there really quietly. You can always progress this drill by swapping legs whilst you're on the wall, so only one leg touches it. Swap legs whilst you're on the wall, hold for another five, 10 seconds, and then come back down again. If you're gonna swap, the swap happens sort of straight away. So you stay in a split, you swap, and then you come back, rather than bringing one foot to the wall and then the other one stays up there. So through the whole drill, there's only ever gonna really be one foot touching it. Cool. So again, we're just looking to control that kick up a bit more and then extend the time we're up in that position for this one. Okay, so recap of the first session. It was just that slow kick to the wall, one leg was touching, coming back down. For today, kick stays the same way. Slow kick to the wall, one leg touches, same amount of pressure, so really light pressure on the wall, stays there. That leg keeps touching. The other leg in your split position would be out here somewhere. Or maybe a bit closer. Um, but that stays out there and you stay in that split position. We're gonna hold there for your five, 10 seconds, then we're gonna come back down. Cool. If you can get used to holding that split position, that's how we can end up controlling uh, freestanding kick to handstands, a little bit easier. So the quicker you bring that back leg up, it's gonna help you sort of boost that kick if you've not done it too hard, or if you can hold the split for longer, you feel like you're gonna go, sort of go over the top of it. Cool. Um, so that's just where we're gonna progress it slightly on from the first one. Cool. And um, for the accessory stuff today, we've got a negative handstand, sort of stripped handstand, um, complex. So I'll go over the demo video of it and we'll show you each sort of part to it. Um, but it's just one big piece. Of course, we're gonna hold a full handstand against the wall for five seconds. Then we're gonna do a 10 second negative. It's a long time. 10 second from the handstand down to a headstand. Cool, now that's the bit we might need to scale slightly. Okay, just looking for a long, slow, controlled descent. Okay, you start shaking a little bit, do it the right way. But it wants to be from here as you go, rather than getting halfway, and this starting to arch on you. Okay, so we should have a similar feeling to the wall press hold we did in the warm up. Cool, so five second hold at the top, 10 second lower, down to a headstand. Five second hold in that headstand, ideally bring those feet off the wall to do it. Then we're gonna lower down into that sort of tuck headstand position, and we're gonna do a 10 second hold there to finish off the set. <clears throat> cool, so similar positions in the headstand we're working on uh, for day one. And this week, straight legs, feet together at the top. Then when you're in your top position, knees are towards your elbows. Cool, and that's what we talked about with those sort of knees staying in your base support, which is the space between sort of your hand and your head, if it's that sort of triangle base or the, the sort of the side to side version. Cool, uh, nice simple progression on from the first session. Nothing's gone too far, gone too sort of fancy with this, uh, but after the light touches to the wall, Okay, think of the wall as, as a really light backup, rather than being there to stop you from crashing through it all the time. Cool, uh, nice one, any questions? Just shout. Cool, so again, we're just looking to extend the drill on we used for the first session and the second one. 
Okay, so we're still going to look for that quiet touch at the top of the wall. We're going to hold up there with the legs still apart in that sort of split-ish shape before we come down. Cool? So one of these again. So, like the first session, we're just going to try and extend the drill arm a little bit more. Um, still looking for the same pass for this one. So the foot that touches the wall touches up really, really high, as high as you can. Then we're going to hold that split position over a few seconds. Cool. But still with a really light touch on the wall, if we can this time. So I'm just going to stay up on the wall for your time. Cool. One of these. 